Well, this is how it turned out. My Perilla spinach and Korean flat chive pasta with my kimchi alfredo, which was wonderful in and of itself. And here is one pork cheese stuffed meatball. Let's see how my husband does with it. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get a reaction out of him. He's tired, it's really, really late, but I'll try. We're ready to make our kimchi Alfredo sauce. So what I've started with is two tablespoons of King Arthur organic flour, one tablespoon of homemade chicken schmaltz, which is just fat chicken taken off your chicken. You can use pork since we are doing a, uh, a pork meatball. I've got half of a cup of squeezed, um, like small chopped kimchi and its juices, which come out to about a third of a cup. I have about one tablespoon of um, garlic and kim and garlic and ginger. And this little piece of ginger, once you take it off, take off all the skin and clean it up, it comes just to about I don't know one eighth. A teaspoon. I've got two sticks of butter and two cups of equal parts heavy cream and whole milk. So half and half, a little over two cups. So now what I'm going to do, my first process is going to be to saute my kimchi, my garlic ginger, and a little bit of schmaltz. Then I'm going to add my flour then i'm going to add my cream and my butter and let that reduce but we'll talk about more about that when we get to the stove okay step one add your garlic and your kimchi my pan has been my pot this is older than my oldest child i love my all pad Oh my God, let's see, 20 years old, I think. But anyway, that's not the point. We're going to saute, ooh, it's on, it's not so good. We're going to saute this a bit, get rid of some of the wetness. And then we're going to, as soon as we can, and it's starting to, I can hear like, as the quieter it gets, the more that the liquid has gone out. I'm gonna go on ahead and put the flour to toast that a bit and get that going. And side with that schmaltz. See how that just quieted everything down. So like I said, we're gonna need this additional flour for holding this, Alfredo together, this kimchi Alfredo together, it's just going to give it more stability. Okay, can I see anything But it's not up close? That's too close. Noise alert. But if I turn off the camera, then you won't see here. Let me see if I could just scrape the old scraper. Oh, all right. That kind of works. Ah, uh, that little part's killing me. All right. I'm going to turn up the heat a little. Let this go. The next thing I'm going to add is the butter. Two sticks of butter. Now my hand's greasy. I gotta wash my hand really quickly. Okay, once um, I've added that, I've washed my hands. Sorry about that. But once the butter's in, I see it's gonna start releasing all that fond. When you have like chunks like kimchi or any kind of other thing in an Alfredo, you want to get all of the flour and the ingredient like good and melted before you, you know, the butter part doesn't have to be, but once you see that all the 
flour and everything is kind of cooked, then I add the cream or the milk. Because if you added the cream, then it would float to the top and then that would be a nightmare. All right, let me get my cream, my half and half actually. All of it. Give it a good preliminary stir. I'm not going to touch the salt or seasonings right now. I'm just going to let this cook, let this come to heat. And then if we need to add Whatever we're gonna add, we'll do that at the point where this is reduced some. So we're like, like there's the little bolt. So we're not too far away from that. We wanna get everything melted and reduced. It should be just at a light simmer. This should take, I would think about 45 minutes to get to where it needs to go before we start addressing seasonings. Okay, so I put in um, one quarter teaspoon of white pepper here and one half teaspoon of salt. Look at how thick it's gotten. I'm gonna keep letting it reduce. It's gotta be like a nice Alfredo sauce. And don't forget, I still have that third cup of kimchi juice to add. So I definitely do not want a watery sauce, but my Alfredo is perfect, picture perfect. Look, it hasn't broken. It looks nice and creamy. I'm gonna keep letting it reduce. And I'll show you the moment that I add the kimchi juice. I just didn't want you to not see me adding the salt and the white pepper. So it's been less than a minute or about a minute since I added the salt and, and white pepper. Now I'm adding the kimchi juice. I'm actually rolling, going to start rolling out the pasta now. So I just want to get this incorporated so it can reduce. This should not taste excessively of kimchi. You want it to just have an underpinning and a nice color. Unfortunately, my new phone does not have great color. It looks so much pinker in person. Let me see if I could take a picture and I'll add it if it, if it makes sense. Nope, the picture was unsuccessful. But anyways, I'm adding another half teaspoon of salt. Um, anything acidic will bring down the saltiness. So whenever you add, all right, that kind of works. I think I'm too close. Anytime you add, um, Anything acidic that's going to pull down the salt. It looks really, 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 really pinkish off camera. That makes me sad. Uh, should I photograph it from the moon? All right. That's it. I'm going to turn this. It's already as low as it can get, I guess. I'm going to just sit here and kind of play with it for a minute and stir it. Then I'm gonna turn it off because I gotta go roll out my pasta. And then once this is kind of reduced a bit, you can see the delineation line here. So it's gone reduced about that much. It's nice and thick now. I'm going to go and roll out my pasta. So this is kind of two videos working. If you have followed along with my, this is my kimchi Alfredo and meatball recipe and then i did a separate video on how to make your um perilla spinach and korean or chinese chive pasta so that's why i'm kind of going back and forth i don't want you to miss that gem of a pasta recipe it's so yummy and versatile I'm 
gonna get back to getting all my stuff out for the pasta. So I put a bit of uh, film wrap right on top, directly touching my kimchi alfredo sauce so it doesn't form a skin and it looks great. It's still really, really hot. And that's it. You could of course put, if you have um, beeswax, like wrap or whatever, or you wanna do wax paper, both are good.